Chris Cuddy well, from the Boat Group. Well, how, okay, let's let, let's get back to um, this week, perhaps a little bit. How, how do how do businesses, investors, and entrepreneurs paying less capital gains tax and less corporation tax? How does that help everyone? Well, I think when, when people heard that policy, some people would have thought, oh, this is another policy to help fat cats. But actually, a lot of the poorest people in this country are those that have started up uh, small businesses and are actually operating without a salary for the first mm. few years. The big corporations, as we all know, pay almost no tax at all. So I think the, coming the corporation tax where the Chancellor has um, will, will, should have the effect to grow jobs uh, and give more people boost prosperity. Boost business, boost jobs. Right, right. But, but I think there is a wider point here in terms of going back to the, the disability benefit cuts is that the, 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 there isn't, I don't think there's a problem with, with society in terms of how the British society as a whole feels about uh, disabled people. I think we're all in agreement. The problem is the Conservative, the leadership of the Conservative Party, um, not only do they not represent the country, they don't even represent the Conservative Party itself, <laughs> as Ian Duncan Smith has proven. The majority of the Conservative Party don't want to see cuts being made on the backs of the poorest and most vulnerable people. And it's important that I think that you know, everyone in the country understands that. Nick, Nicky, you talk about how we're going to fill that hole in the, in the, in the, in the accounts of the mm -hmm. nation's accounts, and that's the point. It's about choices, because we have a situation where they will cut support for disabled people, whilst at the same time effectively funding that cut, uh, sorry, or making up for that, if you like, by cutting capital gains tax, which disproportionately only benefits the top 3%. I think this is the problem as a society. Uh, well, let's, let's nail that one. Does it, does no, it doesn't. I mean, if you it's look the top at... 66% goes the, the, to the top 5%. The, 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 the Bow Group opposed uh, tax credit cuts, which was another, I think, wrong-headed mm -hmm. approach uh, from, from the Chancellor that would have affected the poorest and most vulnerable in society. But a huge proportion of those people that are taking tax credit cuts are those that have started up small businesses. You're absolutely correct. Um, yep. and, and I think that, that proves that you know, everyone that runs a business is not a fat cat that is earning no, 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 no. a We should distinguish, so, actually, between yeah. smaller businesses and big business. That point about tax... But smaller rate. businesses and become big businesses. Well, then, no. Yeah. Well, just to give you an example about... Well, the, they won't if they're too heavily taxed. The, the, yeah. the point about tax avoidance. What would you cut? OK, I mean, what, is there a problem, Owen? Mm -hmm. uh, having this government having ring fenced the budget for the NHS and education is that a problem because it, limi not. it limits their yeah, room for manoeuvre no, no, elsewhere. Well, actually, the Nikki, more, Nikki, Nikki the really. NHS is actually going through the longest squeeze in its funding since it was founded, so it actually needs more resources, yes, not least because of an ageing society. But look, but, but, but the point, the point I think is this actually in terms of tax avoidance is a really important point because smaller businesses can't avoid the tax. Local coffee shops and bookshops yeah. are being driven Apart out of business. Starbucks by the likes of Starbucks. And do you know what happens? We have accountancy firms seconded to government, helping to draw up tax laws, then they go off and tell their clients how to avoid the but laws the, they've written. But, but Can the, you imagine benefit claimants seconded to the Department <laughs> of Work Inventions to draw up legislation the, so the, the, the point is, The point is, those... those corporations you talk about, they weren't paying corporation tax in the first place. I mean, what, 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 was, what was Starbucks paying? Like two million in tax? It's absolutely unbelievable. Rupert Darwell. 